Welcome to YouTuber Headlines. Everything stated within this video is my own opinion and should not be taken as fact. As always, do your own research and form your own opinions. Today, we'll be covering the Eads family. Now, I have not followed them closely over the years, so I'm not that familiar with their content. So I'm checking out their channel, looking at their thumbnails. The most popular video on their YouTube channel is an unassisted home water birth with 88 million views from three years ago. Wow, I'm actually shocked by some of their thumbnails. Some of these thumbnails are graphic. Childbirth seems to be their niche and they've made a lot of money off their birth vlogs over the years. I'm also seeing their kids on a lot of thumbnails. Sometimes they're in the hospital. So they definitely use their kids for content. Lucy, the mom of this family channel, set up a GoFundMe account because she has cancer. Six months ago, they announced they've been keeping a secret and they just bought their first home. Lucy, can you see that? No. And my, oh. he's the reason we have eight kids. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we came to... And just seven days ago, Lucy posted this video to her YouTube channel. Social media is a lie. I don't care where I'm sitting. I don't care what I look like. I don't care what's coming out of my mouth. This isn't rehearsed. This isn't planned. This is raw. This is as raw as I can get. When a YouTuber uses the word raw, I immediately think... This is about to get messy. They're about to spill all their family drama. I'm done covering for a narcissistic prick. I'm going to do this and I'm going to sound angry more than likely because I am angry, but I also don't want to cry because I Lucy's coming off like, I want to get back at you. I want to hurt you. I'm going to tell everybody the truth. I'm going to tell everybody how disgusting you are. That's the vibe I'm getting. I have two perspectives. I'm watching as a viewer, and from a viewer's perspective, this is like watching reality TV. The drama is thick. As a fellow content creator, I'm cringing inside. I want to say to her, put the camera down. Don't do this. I enough over the years. I'm not giving the man another tear. 2011, he left. He went to work. He didn't come home. No call, no nothing. Eventually, he turned his phone off. I was calling hospitals because he, he worked late at that time. Still does. I thought he got into a wreck. I thought he was tired, exhausted. Pace pace was colicky. I had all the worst case scenario thoughts, right? Assholes out swimming at an apartment complex with a couple girls and a guy, making it up, having fun. No warning, no nothing. Just what? Cool. I'm at home with three kids. Uh, one who's calling. The drama. It's crazy. I feel like I'm a fly on the wall in someone's house. I'm hearing things that I should not hear. I have to stop for a second because I know there's construction going on in my background. I apologize for that. I can't do anything about it. So let's keep going. Worried about whether you're alive or dead and, and that's what you're doing. I lost all trust. All trust. Rightfully so. Yeah, I'm right there with you. That's disgusting behavior. You have kids at home. You just drop off the face of the earth and stop responding to your wife's phone calls. You don't even come home. That's so immature and just childish to behave that way. In this video, I am fast forwarding a little bit of this because she talks about infertility, how she got pregnant, recovery after giving birth and things like that. So I want to focus on the main points of her video. So that's what I'm doing. Three weeks when I was born, Joel went to work and didn't come home. My first knee jerk reaction, worst case scenario, oh my God, what's wrong? And then it was like, oh, I know he didn't. And then Joel's gone. Valentine's comes December 23rd. He left three weeks after Valentine's Day comes. He cooked me my favorite meal at home. We all, as a family, went out to go watch a movie at the mall, had fun. Next morning, uh, February 15th, Joel went to work, didn't come home. He's gone two weeks this time. Does the same thing again, changes all the passwords, tells me that it's in the past. I can't bring up the past, that if I bring it up again, he's gonna just keep doing it, he came back. But if I keep bringing it up again, he's just gonna do it again, that I'm controlling him, that I'm manipulating him. The whole time he's gone, he never says anything, no communication, doesn't talk to the kids, doesn't ask about the kids, doesn't wanna FaceTime the kids doesn't come to the house, he's out drinking every night at the freaking bar, doing whatever he wants. So you're watching this family channel on YouTube and they don't show any of this. She said all of this was a secret and she kept getting pregnant. I think they had baby after baby after baby, all for content because birth vlogs are the bread and butter of their channel. Each time he's gone, he stays longer and longer and longer. The whole first year of life, Joel's gone. I do my best that when he is in the picture, I put on a happy face because I can't say anything because he's going to leave. Breastfeeding, I'm still recovering. 
horrible recovery from that pregnancy. Went to Disney World, brought all the kids. That's why Joel wasn't there. I lied, said he stayed home to work, lied for him. He's very controlling and very manipulative. Fast forward 2000. So she's been lying on YouTube, covering for his disgusting behavior, all to keep up this image that they portray online. So she just admitted to lying to her viewers about why he didn't come to Disney World. She said he was working, he wasn't working. She was lying. Do you know how many content creators get on YouTube every day and lie to viewers? Yep, a lot of them do it. They just lie to you guys. You only see what they want you to see. Fast forward 2016, left again 2019, a few months after born, October-ish about this time. Left again, but he came back really quick in comparison to the times before. And then fast forward to 2022, now. Same thing, you're not gonna control me, you're not gonna manipulate me. As time has progressed, he's done less and less and less and less and less and less and less. All y'all who wanted to complain and say that my husband did everything for me and I was a lazy piece of shit, no bitches, that's not the case. <laughs> what it was, was me doing- She really just said no bitches, that's not the case. So on YouTube, she's been making it seem like her husband does everything, when in reality, she said he's been doing nothing. So many content creators do this because they want to look a certain way on YouTube. So every time they clean, they make sure they film it. Every time they're romantic, they make sure they film it because they want all the viewers to think they are this way when they're really not. The title of her video is the truth. Social media is a lie. Me dealing with my own shit. So when I would ask him to vacuum, I would intentionally record. When I asked him to do the dishes, I would intentionally record, throw it in the video. I knew the truth. I knew I did all that stuff and he was occasionally doing it, but I didn't want y'all to think that he was the piece of shit he actually is. So I painted a different picture and I need people out there to know. Some content creators only vlog when they're doing certain things because they're trying to put off this image that's really not true. They're really not the person they portray online. Sure, and I need people out there to know what you see online is not real. It's not, I don't care how happy they look. They've got skeletons, they do. Yeah, they do. They're hiding them. They're hiding them well because they have to portray the image of this perfect little family so that you watch their content, so you look up to them, so you are inspired by them. But all of this is just content. It's not real life. And the issue is they portray it like it's their real life. That's the issue. She was faking her content. They were filming things just to make viewers think certain things about their life. That's the issue with influencers and content creators. When you're watching a movie, you know that's not their real life. You know you're watching a movie with actors in it. When you watch a content creator, Viewers think they're getting the real deal. Viewers think they're getting a peek into the real life of this content creator, but you're not. In most cases, you're not. It's fake. It's curated to make you do whatever they want you to do. Watch the video to the end. Maybe click a link. Buy a product they're recommending. Write a review. I mean, everybody has different intentions on YouTube, so it's different for every content creator. Hiding mine. I'm done. I'm done getting caught in lies and making me look like a pathological liar when, in essence, I am. But not like how- Yeah, if you're lying all the time on social media, I don't see how you can keep up with the lies because after you have hundreds of videos on YouTube, I don't know how you remember what you said two years ago versus what you're saying now. It sounds like her life has become this jumbled mess. She's getting caught in lies and she's tired of looking like a liar. She's been a liar for a long time now. She's been lying. Her content is a lie. She's exposing what really goes on behind the scenes. Now, I don't think every content creator has a cheating spouse, but I think a lot of content creators fake it for the camera. It's produced content. It's edited. It's filmed. It's scripted sometimes. You probably thought, now, throughout all of this, obviously I played my own role. I thought it out. Everybody does. So I'm not sitting here just, everybody's guilty of their own shit. It's not the same shit. This, it's not. I can absolutely take ownership for my shit. And I went to therapy, fixed my, a lot of my stuff was just childhood trauma related crap. And I didn't even know it, you know? I didn't know that a lot of my communication skills that were causing issues in my marriage was a portion of that. I had no idea. Worked on it in 2016, spent a lot of time in therapy and found out a lot of stuff about myself that was not good that I didn't know and 
it shook me to the core. I was like, wow, you know, maybe my communication skills aren't as great as I thought they were. But that's okay. You learn, you grow, and that's fine. You know, nobody's perfect. You just got to be willing to accept that crap and do something about it. And that's the difference between him and I. He does this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that, but I'm not going to do anything to fix it. Oh, I don't know why I get so angry. I know in the moment I'm angry and I know I shouldn't do it, but I can't stop myself. Here she goes again, dragging her husband. I understand why she's so angry. His behavior is disgusting. But I do question her motives here because I don't know, what are you trying to do with this video? Like, what are you trying to do? Throwing all of your marriage drama out on social media. You're exposing your husband. Yeah, I'm sure that feels good. I'm sure she feels really good right now just dragging his ass. But you have to understand, your kids will see this one day. They'll hear all of these things you're saying about their dad. They'll have to read all of the comments from strangers online about you, about them, and about their dad. I don't know. I just don't see the point in dragging your marriage through the mud on YouTube. What are you doing it for? Are you doing it for clicks and views? Are you doing it to get back at him? Are you doing it because you're tired of lying on social media? I mean, that's coming across too. I feel like she's tired of just playing house on social media and acting like everything's fine when it's not. I get that. And it's not what you say, it's how you say it. About it. I'm done. You know, the kids have been hidden from it long enough. But I do know that every time I've allowed him to come back home, I'm contributing to the problem. The economy does not make it easy to stand up and walk away, especially not with eight kids. I know that I shouldn't have kept having kids with him. You can talk all the shit you want. Go for it. Yeah, for sure. And as a viewer, just looking at their channel, it seems like they kept having kids for content, for sure. Because that is the focus of their channel. In my opinion, they've made over a million dollars just on YouTube. That's right just on YouTube. This doesn't count any money they've made through sponsorships, over on Instagram, anywhere else. That's what I think. That's a lot of freaking money. Would you keep having kids for content if you thought you could continue to make that kind of money? I mean, you have to be stupid to think that that would last forever because it doesn't. Nothing lasts forever. Go for it, because you're probably right. I am guilty of my own crap, and I can accept that. She said, talk all the shit. You're probably right. I feel like she's almost telling us that we are right, that she did have kids for content. She's not saying it, but she's kind of saying it, in my opinion. Done. Done. I deserve to feel safe physically. I deserve to feel safe emotionally. He's never really cared. He says he cares. He says he wants the same things, but he wants all the fun and doesn't want to do any of the work doesn't want to get better, doesn't want to change, and I can't make somebody love me. I've tried for 22 years, and this shit. A viewer sent me this message. Have you seen the Eves Family latest YouTube video? Lucy, the wife, did a complete outing of their marriage as a sham since 2011. Her husband leaves for weeks at a time, changes passwords, shows up after two weeks, doesn't want anything to do with the children, etc. She's finally saying it's enough, and she's tired of hiding it all. It's intense. Every single time he leaves, he never calls the kids. Now I know why. Daddy, where are you? Daddy, why did you leave? Daddy, what are you doing? Where are you at? They've, they're going to have questions, and he doesn't, he's not going to answer that. He's not gonna this answer. is definitely intense. It's messy and eight kids. They have eight kids together. I'm glad she's at the point where she's no longer tolerating his gross behavior. She's tired of lying. She's outing herself. She's outing her husband. Seems like she wants a fresh start. But at this point, can we believe anything that she's saying? She just admitted she's a pathological liar. She lies. She's been lying on YouTube for years now. You've outed yourself as a liar. Can we really believe you? This proves family vloggers will do and say anything for content just to get the views. If they've been lying about their marriage, trying to pretend it's all good, there was no issues, what else have they been lying about? Do you think they've lied about other things on YouTube? I do. I definitely do. I know she's trying to drag her husband and make him look bad, but she's also making herself look bad. She outed herself as a liar. It's going to be really hard for her to come back from this. Why would we believe anything she puts on social media when she just admitted to lying for years? 
um, doesn't ask to FaceTime them, of course. Why open up communication when your children are going to ask questions and try to hold you accountable and you know you fucked up. <laughs> you can't justify that. You can't justify being shitty. This is the first time where he didn't leave. This is horrible. I hate hearing this part about the kids. Like how he's not being there for his kids. He's not taking care of his kids. That breaks my heart. I hate this. What a horrible situation. He didn't immediately. Five days in this, this go around. This is the first time he didn't. He changed all the passwords and everything. But this is the first time he's actually bought something. Like Oakland ran out of diapers and he put in a Walmart order last night. But I told him today, I've got to go. I've got hand therapy. 8 a.m. to, I mean, yeah, 8 a.m. to like 11, 12, 1, 2 p.m. depending on the day, every Monday and Friday to regain my hand, the, the use of my hand. So I said, look, I'm not trying to fuck with you. You want to go out and go do your shit? Go fucking do it. I don't care. I don't care. Just stay out of my freaking life. Just let me go do what I need to do so I can take care of our kids. I am not trying to stop you. Lord knows in the past I'd worry about him taking the kids and keeping them from me. That was stupid. He doesn't want the kids. He doesn't want the responsibility. Because if, if he had the kids, he couldn't go to the bar every night. He couldn't go to ludicrous concerts. He doesn't want the kids. He doesn't want the responsibility. Saying those words publicly about your partner, you can never take those words back. Like, that's the lowest thing I think you can say about a parent, is he doesn't want his kids. I'm not saying she's lying here. I'm not saying she's telling the truth. Hell, I don't know. But she is publicly dragging this man. For what? It's almost like she wants the public, the viewers, YouTube to hold him accountable. Kind of what it seems like to me. I just think she's making the situation worse by getting on YouTube and dragging him like this. I mean, your whole life, your drama, all of your feelings about your husband does not need to be content for YouTube. This is so messy. He couldn't go to ludicrous concerts. He couldn't go to movies with girls and guys. He couldn't go bowling and double dating and whatever it is he's doing. I don't think he's an alcoholic. I don't know if he's cheating and I don't care. I don't know if, you know, I don't think he's an addict. I don't know. I do know that every time he pulls the shit, he's always smoking and I find that repulsive to each their own. It's just not something I want in my life and it's not something I'm going to marry, even though I sound like a smoker right now, but I'm She's using her platform right now to vent, to vent about her messy situation, her messy marriage, all the drama in her life. And girl, let me give you some advice. YouTube is not the place to do that. It's just not. Go to a therapist, talk to a friend or something, but keep some of this stuff off social media. I bet she will regret this video in a few years from now. I'm sure she will. I understand that she is taking some accountability for lying on YouTube for years, and I get that, and I think she needed to say that, and that needed to be done, but she's going a little deep here. She is just airing out all of their dirty laundry. She's just letting it all out. My children screwed over me all these years, and I'm fed up with it. I am so done, and I go back and I watch the living room footage, and, and the, the time frame that he's there, he's asleep the whole fucking time, throwing off the boy's schedule, making it more difficult on me. He doesn't try to do the dishes, the laundry. By the way, it's a half a load of dishwasher. It's a half a load in the dryer. There's like nothing to do because I do it all. You see this piece of shit of a man in Dallas where he works out at the bars? Let him know how big of a piece of shit he is. Did she really just do that? She's telling viewers, if you see this POS man out in public in Dallas, tell him what a POS he is. I mean, she just took it to a whole nother level. Like you're weaponizing your viewers. You are literally telling viewers to attack him, essentially. This is not good. This is the bad side. This is the dark side of social media. She's using her viewers, her platform, to attack him. That's it. That's my PSA for the world. So. What if someone sees him out at a bar and this viewer is drunk and gets real pissed off? I mean, you know, I don't know. Lots of things out there could happen, but I don't think you should tell viewers to approach him out in public at a bar of all places and tell him what a POS he is. Like, are you trying to start a fight here? I honestly feel like she's trying to hold him accountable on YouTube because it doesn't seem like she can hold him accountable in their real life. And it seems like he takes no accountability in their real life. 
the main point I got from her video is that social media is fake. She's been faking it on YouTube for years. She's been lying. She's been portraying her husband as a certain way, and he's not that way. She intentionally filmed when he was helping around the house so viewers would actually think he helped around the house, when in real life he didn't. It's fake. It's fake. There's no other way I can say this. Content creators do the things they do for content. It's all content. And she admitted to lying. I think there are tons of content creators out there who lie. And that's the issue when content creators intentionally deceive viewers, a lot of viewers, and put up this front, this fake front, that something is real when it's not. That's an issue. That's a huge issue on social media. He was supposed to be here this morning because I have... <laughs> I've got cancer appointments, I've got hand therapy. Not here, not answering his phone. He hasn't talked to his kids in two freaking weeks. He hasn't seen them, he hasn't asked about them. You don't want to take care of them. I have no control over that, but I need to take care of myself. Let me take care of myself so I can take care of my kids. I can't watch anymore. I mean, it's literally heartbreaking. She has eight kids. She needs help from him. And he just, he's not there. He doesn't show up. This is heartbreaking. I really hope she has someone in her real life she can turn to. Someone she can ask for help. Because she keeps going to social media and I just don't feel like it's the right place to share all this information on social media. You just saw that clip. She was breaking down, filming herself breaking down and posting that on social media as content. I hope she has someone in real life she can turn to, someone she can talk to, someone who can help her. This guy, oh, this guy is so gross. And she was breaking down in her bathroom in front of her kids. I could hear kids in the background. So the kids are seeing this. The kids are hearing and seeing their mom break down. When you watch people on social media, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And this is another example of a fake life that was presented on YouTube. This is another example of a family channel faking it for the camera, lying to viewers, and it's all turned to shit now. It's a chaotic mess right now. And I just hope she has someone in her real life she can turn to. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.